the channel or welcome to the channel if you're just coming across this vlog today but there has been lots of home updates happening so if you guys do follow me over on my home account you may have been seeing those updates over there because the living room construction has started this week which is very exciting and I have literally been like a little kid every time I see a bit of progress I'm like jumping up and down it just seems so nice to see that room start to come together with the vision that I had for it especially knocking out the wall which I absolutely hated because I never actually showed you guys that living room because I wanted to keep it for the whole kind of renovation and really showing you the progress and before and after of the room so obviously once the room is done and I start to style and decorate it I am going to be doing a whole different separate video just dedicated to that room so you can really see the whole progress the before and afters and how I'm going to be decorating it styling it and all of that jazz which I'm so excited for so it is very fun but obviously it's stressful when construction is happening so the house has been a little bit manic this week obviously got the contractors in we've had the garden around we've had the cleaners it has been a little bit wild and obviously lots of deliveries coming in and out as well because I've actually ordered my wardrobes for the closet bedroom that we are going to be doing temporarily we've also had the bed come for the guest bedroom we have a guest staying with us this weekend which is very exciting because we obviously have hosted since we've been here but we've not had guests come to stay and then next week my family come to stay which is really nice as well so we wanted to get the guest bedroom ready so if you were kind of up to date with the previous vlogs you would have seen we started to wallpaper it the bed has come we started to put that up but there's going to be a bit of amusement for you guys. I basically forgot the mattress size that I ordered. And I tried to fit a king size onto a double. So I'm going to clip into that in later in this vlog so you can actually see. And I've also had some other deliveries come for that bedroom. Which we can unbox together from like Zara Home. There's just honestly been lots. It's been a bit of a whirlwind this week. So lots to catch you up on. Because we were also in Italy over the weekend. Looking for our wedding venue. Which was so exciting. And we found the one. So that is all currently underway with planning. We've been on calls with the wedding planner. So there's so much to update you on with the wedding side of things as well. So I am going to be doing a separate wedding series, which is going to be starting at the beginning of April. So that's going to kick start with the Q&A, with the questions that you guys have been asking over on my Instagram. So me and Chris are going to sit down, answer them all, talk you through kind of the plans for the wedding, and obviously get you guys involved in it, because it's going to be such a big part of the next few months of us planning along with doing the house so as you guys know I love to take you along on the journey so I'm obviously going to be updating you everything that's been happening with the living room day by day before I do I wanted to actually share with you guys that I'm back on HelloFresh I think you guys know by now how much I love and use it so I've just had the doorbell rang and my new box has come but I'm actually going to clip into last night's dinner which we were using from the previous week's recipes because we had a few left over from being in Italy um, and me and Chris had a nice like fun date night in so I'm going to clip into that so you can see what we cooked and got up to and then I'm going to update you with the rest of the house so as I said earlier we are back on HelloFresh oh my god are you okay <laughs> me and Chris cooking it's not, and we're doing a little bit of a date night in we're cooking tonight we're going to actually do it together we have six steps it's pretty easy it breaks it down very simple recipe we've picked out our recipes this week so we've actually Actually gone for more calorie smart recipes. I'm trying to scale it back. We've got a wedding coming up, you know. <laughs> so I actually picked out these ones. So actually tonight we're doing cheese and caramelized onion pork steaks. So Chris has already kind of got started on the first initial steps. I just kind of stand by and snack to begin with. Shall I bring everyone up to speed on what we've done so far? So it says to leave the skin on, which we don't normally do, but we're um, looking forward to that. It says to leave the skin on, that's interesting. The mash. Just leave the skin on for the. <laughs> These on top. Just going to melt nicely. And then always leave a little bit extra for. Bailey. Yes, Bailey. <laughs> guys don't know already, and I hadn't said before in the video, you can save 60% off the first box, which is incredible. I will leave the discount code on the screen and then you get 25% off the next two boxes. And how much do we love HelloFresh? Like you can see here, the stack of recipes we've been doing over the past few weeks. 
especially the fact we've moved into the house, we've had so much going on with the construction, we kind of don't have the time to think up new recipes, go to the you know, local supermarket and do our food shops as we usually would. So this has been so convenient for us to just have the recipes here, food delivered to our door, and we can cook it. So if you are looking at doing a HelloFresh, you can save with a discount code. Six percent off, if you think about it, is your weekly shop, which for us has been such a huge saving with moving into the house, renovating and doing everything else. So we love it. And also it mixes up that kind of like midweek meals, which we get bored with. Like how many times can we do for years? Yeah, plus we've always said like we get loads of ingredients that we use Wouldn't for one use, meal yeah. and then we have it sitting in the larder for about yeah Six whereas months. we've actually been using up obviously the ingredients so it's much more efficient and for us obviously we've been opting in for more of the calorie smart meals which has been really good you can do like family favorites and we also kind of save our favorites on the hello fresh app which we always kind of come back to we did meatballs the other night which was so good with creamy mash balsamic kind of like glaze um yeah and also we actually did this one this was another one of our favorites which was the middle eastern style lamb stew with prunes couscous toasted almonds that was actually your favorite wasn't it yeah death chris in action So this is the living room currently, as you can see, we literally just have like a TV down here. This is the Samsung frame TV we're putting in the other room. All the wires are everywhere and we haven't even yet done like the windows. We've still got the old poles up, which we're gonna be taking down. But this is the eyesore. That was the one thing we did not like about the house. We did walk into this room and just fall in love with how much light comes in here. It's such a big space. Obviously this is our old sofa from the previous house. It hasn't been there like that. It's just, obviously we've moved everything this morning. So the contractor to, can get in and just basically get to this wall space easier. Like for instance, that pole above the um, doors are coming down, but I love those doors and they're also mirrored here. Um, which actually eventually this is gonna be not into like a big archway, which will go into the kitchen. But this is basically what's being knocked out today. And I cannot wait, literally the moment we moved in this house, I've wanted this wall gone. I hate the brick. It's just so orange, so old and outdated. It's just not us. And also the fireplace is just too small for this room. We want like a really nice, big, grand limestone, proper fire. Then we're gonna be doing the Samsung frame TV above. Then here we're gonna be doing a built-in arch which is gonna look stunning with some reclaimed wood shelves. Obviously, this is all gonna be knocked through and plastered before that happens, so it's all one level, but you can kind of see it's already got the um, space here to put in the arch, and then obviously this is gonna continue into a big fireplace. We're gonna be changing the slabs and obviously into the fireplace as well, like the hearth. So, so much is gonna be happening in here and I just cannot wait to show you the after. So, this is the before. We have stuff everywhere, random curtain poles from the previous owners. Obviously, I'm not a fan of the color of the walls. That's gonna be changing and we're gonna be paneling the walls and then we're also gonna be putting wooden beams on the ceiling to just bring in that cozy feel in here. But for now, I just love these doors as they are. Um, especially these ones which we're keeping. I'm gonna do lovely draped curtains. We are thinking of doing either two sofas like this, like facing each other, or doing one and then two different armchairs, and then I'm ordering a lovely coffee table, like a reclaimed wood one. So let's see the progress. And obviously we're gonna roll up all the furniture. This has just been complete makeshift. Um, we've had obviously the sofa here and a little chair and stuff from the old place whilst we've been waiting for the contractor to come. current update you can see this like makeshift basically like chimney breast has been made and then this is all going to be plastered and they've started to make the kind of like structure for where they're going to start with the built-in arches so we originally wanted to have a mantelpiece, but because this is already coming out 
we don't want to lose any more space so instead of actually buying a mantelpiece they're basically going to make it out of limestone material because then we can have it bespoke because we don't want it to be too high because obviously we're going to have the tv above here so there was loads of obviously factors in choosing why we're going this way we also wanted to have just a open fire we can't do that now so we have to do a log burner um log burner wood fire stove if that makes sense sorry my mind is basically shambles because we've had to make so many decisions this morning but this is basically the way we're going with it because then we're not losing space we're having it bespoke so we can pick the height we want which means we'll have enough room for the tv and then it will all be flush on this wall which will be plastered with the arches and then also for it to make sense basically to be symmetric and balanced and also have the fireplace central to okay, the room so day three of progress both arches have been made now so as you can see this arch has been made over the window just sadly the window can not be focal to the middle because of having to have this section this has all been now rewired so you can see they've rerouted the wires here which is where all of our stuff for our tv is basically going to be hidden in that little box like sky and everything then the tv will be mounted here fireplace is going to be made bespoke underneath then this arch has also been made and plastered so tomorrow they're going to start with all of the plastering and then we can look to paint and get the shells put in here and source the reclaimed wood which will be lovely obviously it's not going to be pink this is all going to be plastered painted but progress is happening okay so updates today the contractors have just left and as you can see behind me everything is now plastered i just love this arch i think they've done such a great shape of it and you can see here where the light will be at the top of it as well which we're going to have fitted in and then obviously this is going to be painted all the shelves are going to be added but it's just made the space look so much bigger so much brighter obviously this is the color of the plaster at the minute it is just drying so they're going to let this dry over the weekend and you can see all the light that comes into this room it is honestly just beautiful i love it and just I think it was the room in the house that we never spent time in because obviously we, we we didn't want to spend time in here because of how it was so now seeing my vision come together in here i am loving it so you can see here where it's pink that's where they're going to be put in the fireboards and then the bespoke fireplace will start to be built afterwards and put the stove in and then here is where they fitted the box where like the sky and everything is going to be fitted behind the tv so we've got the samsung frame tv that will be going on here and then they've also done the arch over this side however we just couldn't get the window like i've said before central so what i'm thinking of doing is this section here and doing a lovely plant part and a plant coming up here and then potentially doing a bench over the radiator to hide it but we're still kind of figuring that out or maybe radiator cover just to kind of like balance out this area but you can see the shape of the arch just works so well because we were debating the two shapes but this basically worked the best so it still allows the shape of the window and then i'll be putting a lovely blind on here as well but oh, it just feels very exciting to see things happening back to real time if you guys want to have a little bit of a giggle of what happened in this guest bedroom i'm going to show you so can we just appreciate we've gone for a four poster bed which is fine love the four poster obviously once it's all done put back and dressed ignore this mess here but the mattress i must have ordered when i was half asleep super king size i'm gonna have to put this in our bedroom because it's such a good mattress it's the emma mattress but obviously this is not working here hanging off the edge but thankfully i've managed to order the right size mattress which has actually just arrived in time for me to put it on and host the guests this weekend and the rug under here has also come so i'm going to clean up all this mess put the rug on put the mattress when chris can help me and then i'm going to start styling these shelves i've also got these sconces which i love and for the price you get two with the lampshades i'm going to put these on the wall here so just so you can kind of see for context these were actually from Amazon and I believe they were £65 for two, which is really good 
for the quality of these sconces in terms of them actually coming with the lampshades. And then I've got the smart light bulbs for them as well, so we don't have to wire them to the wall. You just simply have to mount the mount, which is this, with the drill and the um, raw plugs, which I've got, and then obviously just attach it here with the screws, put it onto the wall, and jobs are good in. I'm very excited to see how they're gonna look. I'm gonna do one on this wall, and then one on that wall. And as you can see, this is the update with the wallpaper. I absolutely love it. Chris actually did a really good job. Um, Cause if you guys didn't know at first he did it upside down, bless him. So I feel like all these things just happen with us, but we're getting there. And then just for FYI, these are the smart light bulbs that I was on about for the sconces. So it's a lot easier to connect. You can do it to the apps. I believe this also may connect to Alexa but if not, you can do it through Philips and it's just easy to then not have to do all the electric wiring, which can cost a lot more. And this just seems a lot easier for us. We also got this from Amazon. I thought I'd quickly show you, but how fancy is this tissue box? Obviously the tissues are underneath and then this is the cover for it, but you would think this is from Zara Home and this again was from Amazon and was such a good price. So I will link it down below because I'm actually gonna get a few of these for the different rooms in the house as well. And these knobs have also arrived from Zara Home, which I'm gonna be putting on the drawers here instead of these ones, just to give it more of that rustic feel and kind of match in with the wallpaper, bringing in that kind of like beigey brown shade. So I'm gonna unscrew these and see how these will look on there. Ah, this is where I've made the mistake. Okay, so I did think this, but it's fine. I'm gonna see how it looks. I've ordered two of the bigger ones for the bigger cupboards, and then these little ones for the little drawers, but I don't know if that's gonna look a little bit swallowed, so we'll have to see. So we've put the rug down, started to make the bed, we need to put the screws in it, we just wanted to try out the new mattress, so this one actually fits the bed. But we're just trying out the um, drawer knobs that we got. If you put it back on, let's see if it looks. What do we think? I feel like they're, they're nice, but Alternatively, what about a gold bar? Yeah, I mean, we if actually I've got some gold bars downstairs, what we we're going to put on the dining room, so let's try those. I actually originally got these for the dining room, but they were too small, so I'm getting these for the dining room with basically larger handles. Let's see how these look. They work yeah. actually, but I think it's because I know you're going to say they look small, but I think it's only because this is looking large here. I Once feel like that's maybe looking a little bit too understated. Good morning guys, it's the next day. Let's just excuse the state of me this morning, but we had our friends stay over last night, which was nice. So we've just woken up this morning and been sorting out the house. We're gonna sort out the guest bedroom, get all that sorted with the new mattress, which you guys will see, which actually fits the space. And we are hopefully gonna start painting at the study today, picking out the paint that we want for the living room. So I'll do some of those samples as well. Yeah, so lots to do on my to-do list because obviously we've got our family coming to stay next week and I'm going to be in Paris, which is very exciting. So I'll be doing a whole pack with me, which I'm sure you guys will see. And take you along to Paris, but for now, it is full-on house mode again. <laughs> starting to come together as you can see I've started to style it I have literally steamed all of the bedding all of the pillows sprayed them with pillow sprays 
you know, just made it all nice and lovely for our guests to come stay. And then I've just laid over some kind of bedspreads and blankets we had from the old place. These are actually both from Ikea, but I think they work quite well with this cream matching with the rug. The rug does need a steam. Obviously, we've just kind of unboxed it, put it underneath to see how it looks. But basically, because this space is uneven in terms of the units, the obviously floor space I had to go 200 by 300 so it needed to have a little bit of space either side of the bed I've put the handles on this side they just need to go on that side I need to order them and then these two will be bigger on the big cupboards if that makes sense and then once this room is finished I feel like it'll be great to have a light hanging from the middle we were going to do the sconces on the wall but we're now thinking to do the lamps here so it's easier for guests to use and then have um, electric wire obviously coming down with a big lampshade here. And then on this wall here, we've got the pole, which will be going up the gold pole. These black ones are coming off. And then we're going to have lovely draped curtains to give it that height to match the height of the bed. But obviously the bed is smaller than we wanted. It's just because of these units. But it's just going to be nice and cosy for our guests to come stay anyway. And obviously we've got storage underneath the bed, which is great too. So this was actually bespoke made from Get Laid Beds. And then I've just kind of temporarily styled the... I always feel like I'm saying temporarily. It's because I know myself and I'm going to be messing with it and changing it. I've already changed it twice since probably filming it, this clip. But I've just put the tissue box that I showed you guys from Amazon. These lights were from our old apartment in our bedroom. They're actually from Olivia's. And then I've also mirrored it on the other side to give it that symmetry. And then my friend got me these lovely tulips. So I've put that on that side and then kind of tied it in with a picture frame here with a little pop of that kind of vintage feel and the pink. Got photo frames. This is actually from H&M Home, this glass holder. And then I've also put the candle in there as well. And also the book is H&M Home. As well as this tray, just when they've got like bits and bobs they want to put out, a jewellery. And then I've put this jug, which gives a little bit of height with the branches in the corner here. And then on the other side, as you saw, I've got the pot with the tulips, a little box for like bits and bobs. And then I've also mirrored it with the frame as well. But yeah, I think it's starting to come together, which is really nice to see. And then we've got my family coming over next week to stay. So it'd be nice for them to have this space cozy up. And I've also just put a blanket down here if they want an extra layer on the bed as well. And then I've actually managed to fit the six residence chair that I had here, just so they've got a bit of seating area. I've also put another frame here. We're also gonna be swapping out all of the light switches. You can see obviously a bit of paint was on here because we knew that these were gonna be swapped over anyway. So we're gonna get some nice gold ones. Got another frame here and a full length mirror, which used to be in my office space. And then we're thinking of doing, we wanted to do a bench at the end, but there isn't much room given the wardrobes are here. So instead we're thinking of doing a reclaimed wood bench to kind of hide the radiator as well. And then we can kind of dress that and have it just as a bit of a seating area. And this door is going to be changing. And then obviously this whole bathroom, as you saw in the full kind of like house um, initial tour is going to be renovated as well. So I can't wait to see that start to happen. But that will be later down the line. But it's nice to see the wallpaper kind of come to life with everything in the room now. Because I'm really glad we went with it. I think it works well with the creams matching in with the rug and the bedspreads and some of the pillows. And just bringing in the tones together throughout the room. But just a few little touches we need to do. Like obviously the door handles, put the lights in and the curtains. But we are slowly getting there with this gas bedroom. Now we've finished up doing, well we haven't obviously finished. But for today, we've finished doing it the guest bedroom. It is looking all nice and ready, as you guys saw. I'm going to now start cracking on with a study. I've actually also just got out of the garage one of the canvases that I had from the previous house that I didn't actually manage to finish. So I think I'm going to actually start to finish that with some of the paint samples we've got left over and have a bit of like a creative afternoon. I feel like it's kind of just like therapeutic to do it. So I've been doing this all morning, the steaming, cleaning, all of that. So I'm going to start with a canvas. Hopefully start with the study, get Chris to help me. Sorry, I have no idea what's going on with this jumper right now or the state of me. This is just the current reality. But I think tonight we're just going to have a chilled one and make a curry, one of the HelloFresh meals. I'm going to have a bath and just start to hopefully chill out after getting all this housework done. <laughs> 